Hello and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing a book haul post. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the books that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Mostly I got these books from work. I was working at HarperCollins. I've now finished there. I'm about to start a new job on Monday, which is quite exciting. Um, but there was a few books I was eyeing up that I tried to get my hands on before I left. There are also a few books here that were in our donation pile at work from other publishers. Actually, just two. Um, but they are also ones that I'm looking forward to reading. So, first up, I have read... was I actually have the whole series now of the Game of Thrones books by George R. R. Martin. I'm not going to show you all of them because they have a big heavy pile. So there's a selection. I've read... I read most of them before the series started. Um, and I got about halfway through the second part of Dance with Dragons, because in the UK that is split into two. Um, so I've got like the last quarter of the last book still to read. And it wasn't anything in particular that put me off. I read these books quite quickly um, when I get once I've got into them. But I, I had a feeling that I would get to the end of it and be desperate for the next one. So I just kind of cut myself off and I'm waiting until at least we know when the next one is coming out um, to get started on that last little bit of it. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to have my own set of books because I borrowed them from friends. Um, so now I have them here to look lovely and pretty on my shelves. The next book, um, or books actually I'm going to talk about, is another Half Collins one. They are The Witch's Kiss and The Witch's Tears by Catherine and Elizabeth Corp. Um I hadn't really heard about these before. The Witch's Tears just came out recently, um, and I saw it around, and I thought it sounded quite interesting, but obviously it's book, book two in the series, and I didn't want to... I've done before the thing where I end up with the second or third or whatever book in a series, but not actually the first one, on the hope that I will read them at some point and get them at some point, and I didn't want to do that. I'm trying to be really strict and cut down the amount of books I buy. So I left it, and then the other day I managed to find the first book in the series. So this is about a girl called Mary. It says, Mary is an average teenager. She's also a witch. She's trying not to be, but she is. Then Jack comes into her life, and she can't help falling under his spell. One problem, though. He's part of an evil, centuries-old curse that Mary now has to break. If Mary has lost her heart, will she lose her life too? Or can True Love's Kiss save the day? Um, sounds fun. Obviously, this is a YA novel. Um, I'm hopefully going to get to one of those soon, but we shall see. I have quite a lot of exciting things on my shelf, too. So I'll get to them when I get to them. Um, the next one is one that I got from the donation box. This one is published by Bantam Press. It's called The Unmumsy Mum. I'm not exactly sure when this came out. Um, but I've heard once or twice about the blog, The Unmomsy Mom, um, and this is putting some of it into book version, I assume. It just sounded like a fun read about a mom who doesn't feel like like she's your typical view of mom, although I don't really think there is such a view of a typical mom. Um, but anyway, okay. Part of the thing on the back, it's quite long, so I won't, won't read you all of it. It says, this book won't tell you how to parent, what to buy, or how you should feel. Its refreshing frankness is guaranteed to make you laugh, may well make you cry, and will no doubt leave you breathing a sigh of relief that it is definitely not just you. Um, I am not a mother. I will probably not be for several years. But I thought the book sounded like a fun read. So I picked that one up. Another book that I found from the donation pile is published by Little Brown. Um, and that is Girls on Fire by Robin Wasserman. I've read one of Robin's books aimed more at young adults before and really enjoyed the writing, and I'd heard one or two things about this book. It's about a couple of different girls in high school, and generally I thought it sounded interesting. Again, that one is going onto my TBR shelf, which is quite long right now, um, so I will get it when I get it. I just wanted to feature it here to give it a chance. Um... The last two books, too, that I was really excited about. This one, obviously this is not the finished cover for the final book, but it is very, very similar. This is Fragile Lives by Professor Stephen Westerby. Um, 
and he is a heart surgeon, and it's about his stories um, from his work, really. Um, I want to try and read more non-fiction, and when I saw that this was um, Harper Non-Fiction were giving away copies of this book in the building the other day, um, and I was really excited to get one of those copies before they'd all gone. I'm really looking forward to reading this. It comes out on the 9th of February. Um, I am going to try and read it in the next few weeks, and I will let you know what I think about it. Finally, um, this is an arc of a book that I'm really excited about. This is The Boy Who Saw by Simon Toyne. This is the sequel to Solomon Creed, um, which was book one in the series. It kind of follows Solomon loosely. I really enjoyed book one, but it left me with a lot of questions about um, who is Solomon Creed, basically. Um, and I'm hoping that we'll get a few more answers in book two although I believe there are several more in the series, so I'm not sure what to expect from this one. But I love this cover, and I was really excited um, that the nice people in the marketing team were kind enough to give me a spare one. Um, this one comes out in June, so there are a few other things that I want to read first, but I'll try and get this one read and reviewed in plenty of time before the release date, so that you guys can get excited about it as well, hopefully. Those are all the books that I'm going to talk about today. I will do a wrap-up video soon to talk about some of the books that I have read recently, including some of the ones I mentioned in my last video. Um, I will link to that down below. I talked about some of the books I was aiming to read. haven't quite read all of them in the time frame I gave myself. I've got one and a half still to go of the five, but I'll get to them hopefully very soon and then do my wrap-up um, and include some other books that I've read in January. I will talk to you very soon. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, or any books that you are excited to read about soon. Bye!